In this video, I want to go over the sum of intervals problem on Code Wars. And what it wants you to do is to write a function called sum intervals that accepts an array of intervals and returns the sum of all the interval lengths. Overlapping intervals should only be counted once. Now, if we look over here at the function, the array of intervals will be called intervals, and it'll look something like this. So for this example, the array of intervals will be 1, 4, 7, 10, 3, 5. And if we summed up the range of these intervals, this would be 3 plus 3 plus 2, which would be 8. However, that would be incorrect because 3 and 5 and 1 and 4 overlap, and overlapping intervals should only be counted once. So what we can do is the sum of the length of these intervals is 7. Since 1 and 4 and 3 and 5 overlap, we can treat this interval as 1, 5, which is a length 4. So if we can combine these two intervals into one non-overlapping interval, it would be 1, 5, and then that length would be 4, plus 3 would be 7, and that would be correct. Now, the way I solved it is, if you look at this notepad, this array right here is this same array right here. And what I did for every single range in this array, I wrote it out into a new list, just like so. So for 1, 4, I wrote 1, 2, 3. For 7, 10, I wrote 7, 8, 9. For 3, 5, I wrote 3, 4. So the entire ranges are written out, and if we count the length of this new list, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If we returned 8, that would be correct for the sum of all ranges, including the overlapping intervals. If we wanted to exclude these intervals, we could use, we could take advantage of some of the properties of a data structure called a set. Now, if we converted this list into a set, what it would do it do is it would remove duplicate elements. If we look here, the overlapping portion of all these ranges is three and three. If we converted this into a set, it would remove one of the threes. And now, if we counted the length of this new list, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that would be the sum of the that would be the um, sum of all the interval lengths, excluding the overlapping intervals. Now let's get into coding this. I just showed you the algorithm I used. So we're going to create that new list, new L, and set it equal to an empty list. And then we need to iterate throughout our intervals. So for I in intervals, what we're going to do is we're going to, for every interval, we're just going to run the interval and append it to our new list. So we're just going to say for J in range of I of zero to i of one and this is let's just type this out first new l dot append j so what we're doing for every single interval i we are going to run through the range one so say we're on the first iteration so i will be one comma four for j in range of i of zero to i of one so i of zero will be one I of 1 will be 4, so this will be 1 to 4. We're just going to append uh, 1, 2, and 3 to our new list, for the, at least for the very first one. And then we'll do the same thing for every single range. After we're done with that, we will have a list that looks similar to this one right here, but it'll be including all the overlapping arrays. So what we need to do is we need to return the length of our new list, so return the length of our new list. But if you remember, if we return the length of our new list, that will be including all the overlapping intervals. We need to convert this new list into a set so that we exclude those duplicate uh, ranges. So set, and this should work. If you look over here, all 104 test cases pass. So that is the sum of intervals problem on Code Wars. It is a 4KYU problem, so starting to get into that difficult territory. I hope that you learned something, though. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.